This is a factor in this story. Real Madrid, Dortmund relationship. So Real Madrid are there, but again, they have to find an agreement with the player. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, as always, we touch on Jude Bellingham. We have something important to discuss about that. What was true, what was not. To clarify something on the English midfielder was always in the rumors, but also links Chelsea or Black. Chelsea Dizazi, the center back, and something on Nathan Wood. Remember the name. Let's jump into it together. And guys, as every single day, many, many questions and many, many rumors and stories around Jude Bellingham. We know what happened with Liverpool this week. They decided to uh, cool their interest in um, Jude Bellingham. Why? Because of the financial situation. So uh, they don't want to proceed at the current conditions. They feel at Liverpool that the Jude Bellingham deal is worth 150 million euros at least to Borussia Dortmund, including the add-ons plus commission salary too expensive because they have to rebuild main part of the squad. So for Liverpool could be a summer with four, five signings, an important summer for Jurgen Klopp. And this is why spending that money on one single player, even if they love Jude Bellingham, is something that could create some financial problems. And this is the situation in Liverpool. But what's the truth on the other clubs? Guys, I wanted to clarify something. The first one is about May United. We have many stories on May United, but it's important to say that yes, Ritanaki is a big fan of Jude Bellingham. And yes, they would love to sign an important midfielder in the summer at May United. But it depends on the club sale. It depends on what happens between the Glazers, Sheikh Yassim, Sergi Bradcliffe. The conversations will continue in the next days and weeks. April and May are crucial months to understand more and also to understand the budget of May United because they want to sign a new striker as a priority and so to understand how much they can spend on a midfielder. So the interest can be real, but at the moment there is not a concrete negotiation because it depends on the club sale. Real Madrid are there for Jude Bellingham, for sure. They had meetings, they had contacts. Let me say one thing. The relationship between Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund for Jude Bellingham, uh, but in general also for other deals they made in the past, is an excellent relationship. So this is a factor in this story. Real Madrid, Dortmund relationship. So Real Madrid are there, but again, they have to find an agreement with the player. And so let's see how it will continue. Manchester City are there, for sure. They want a new midfielder in the summer and Bellingham is a player they absolutely want. But also important to clarify that at the moment, uh, both clubs are still waiting on the player. Also guys, let me remind you that Borussia Dortmund will try until the end to keep Jude Bellingham. They say that in public many times, but also in private, in the conversations, Borussia Dortmund are still there. They are offering the possibility to extend his contract and maybe include a release clause to let him leave in summer 2024. So this could be a possibility. So Real Madrid, Man City and this possibility with Borussia Dortmund. Let's see what happens at my United with the owners at the moment. Nothing else happening with other clubs. I'm not aware of any advanced talk or concrete talk with Paris Saint-Germain, despite concrete rumors in the last few days. Also, guys, I wanted to tell you something about Chelsea. We have many stories in the last few days, in the last hours also, on Dizazi, the centre-back playing in Ligue 1, but from what I'm told, Dizazi is not a target for Chelsea in this moment. Chelsea are not actively working to sign Dizazi. It's not something that they are considering a, a priority right now. Uh, I told you about McAllister, but it's also important to say that for Chelsea now, the priorities are different, and Dizazi is not one of them. Oblak, we had some stories, it's not the first time, we always see May United and Chelsea link it to uh, Jan Oblak, Atletico Madrid goalkeeper, because officially he is out of contract in the summer, so a big opportunity, but I can tell you that from what I understand, Oblak will sign a new deal at Atletico Madrid, new deal until June 2027, there is a verbal agreement in place, just waiting for the documents to be signed, but Oblak already said yes verbally to Atletico Madrid, so let's see if some club will be able to break that, but at the moment, from what I understand, Oblak is prepared to stay at Atletico Madrid until June 2027 and he's a crucial player for Atletico and for Simeone. So this is what I wanted to clarify about these Chelsea links. Also, guys, important to touch on a talent. Born in 2002, Nathan Hood, center back, playing for Swansea, doing very well. I'm told that Arsenal and Tottenham have sent their scouts to follow the player uh, to keep an eye on him because he's a very talented one. At the moment, Swansea are still fighting to extend his contract and try to keep him at least for one more season. So the situation is open, nothing is advanced. But remember this name because Hood did very well on his under-21 debut with England. And so, one to watch for the future. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, of course, on Jude Bellingham, where do you think he's gonna end up, but also all the other stuff, including Yano Black, Lisa C, and more. I wait for you as always. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. With a